Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. We're working on Blossom and this is page eight. And here's our pocket page. So we've got a couple of flaps here. So we're gonna start with this large flap, which is six and a half by eight. Six and a half by eight, you're gonna score half inch on the six and a half inch side. And this large flap is gonna get installed on the left hand side of the pocket page. Like so, pretty easy. Okay, on top of the pocket page is a pocket. And this pocket is seven by four and a half, seven by four and a half, and you're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides. And it's just gonna get applied to the very bottom of this flap. <clears throat> like so. I'm going to get my contrast sheet so I can see my edges better. Okay. There we go. All right, now uh, there's going to be a flap that goes down, top down, and I noticed in page one, it's the same design, that the flap is a little bit too long. So I wound up taking off about a sixteenth of an inch, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. So I started with six by four and a half, six by four and a half, and then I took about a sixteenth of an inch off, which is just gonna leave this uh, ever so slight gap, and that's going to allow us to insert this five by seven photo mat to hold everything closed, okay? So start with six by four and a half and just take a sliver off and I took about a sixteenth of an inch off. It's okay if you take more. If you want to take an eighth of an inch, that's fine too. You just need enough of a gap that you can slide, easily slide in your photo mat. I'll turn this so I can see my edges. Now remember, this is the top. I've just turned everything upside down. we go. And then this five by seven photo mat is going to slip right into the pocket and hold everything closed. Okay. Now we're going to install these six and a half by four inch flaps to the right hand side. And there's two six and a half by four score half inch on the six and a half inch side. So these wind up being four by six photo mounts. And there's two. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to use some magnets to hold this main flap down. So we're going to use two sets. Because this is split, we're going to use um, magnets on each one of them. Okay, press everything into place, there we go, there we go. Okay, so that is it for page eight. Um, I'll show you one more time. We've got the five by seven insert, a flap, and again, the pocket. This holds everything in place. Then it opens to the left and then to the right. And that is page eight. When we get back together shortly, I will have my designer papers laid out, organized, inked, and ready to be installed. Okay, I'll be back soon, guys. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Hope everybody's doing well. We are working on um, 
Blossom, and we are on page eight. So we are really moving right along. So I this insert is five by seven. I'm gonna start by putting this down just cause it's sitting there and it's handy. And this is from the Patterns and Solids. This is from the Patterns and Solids, and this is from the 8x8 collection pack. I love this pattern. Um, there's a green sheet, a blue sheet, and a pink sheet, and I just think it's gorgeous. I love when they have these tight patterns and the stripes. I just think they're so fun to work with and so easy to work into um, albums. I just think they're gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to put, I'm gonna think about this. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to go in the pocket. I'm going to try to see which way I like it better, but I was planning on the flowers being on the lower part. And yeah, that's what I want. I think that looks prettier. So let's go ahead and add the flowers to the pocket. <clears throat> Whoops. Hmm. Huh. I was just making sure I was turning it the right way. A little too much glue there. I'm gonna be careful not to glue my pocket shut. All right, so now we're gonna put the green on here. Make sure I've got it the right side. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so that's the main part. I am going to organize some of the rest of the papers and I'll be back in just a moment. Hi everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate and we are working on page eight. So um, while I was away, I found this sticker and I thought it looked lovely. So I went ahead and added it to this mat, which we did the last time we were together. But now we're ready to go ahead and finish laying in the rest of the pattern paper. And I think I've got everything inked, but I honestly don't know. Okay. Patterns and solids, eight by eight. Okay, now we close that and then we use this insert to keep everything in place. And we'll open it up. And we've got this nice simple layout here in the middle. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, sorry about that noise in the background. My husband's <laughs> working in the garage and I can actually hear it through the house. I'll try to edit some of that out. next time we get together we will be working on uh, the cover and the inside liners both. I'm going to close one and, and then flip them, reverse them. It's just easier to see the edges when I do that. Nala's in here visiting me. She likes to sit right behind. Sometimes she's so quiet I don't even hear her come in. She sits right behind my chair and sometimes I go to get up and I run over her. Because I don't know she's there. She's being so quiet. Okay, that's it. So that is page eight. I think that looks really pretty. And then we've got our flaps that open left and right. Ta-da! That is it, page eight. Okay, when we get back together, we're going to start working on the cover. Be back soon.